quick challenge. Name one thing in your day that isn't empowered by or benefits from science. Oh, wait. Boom. How's it go? Boom, 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 boom. Stumped? Don't worry. When my daughter was 13, she came home from school and she told me a story about her seventh grade science teacher asking that same question to the class. Name something in your day that doesn't benefit from science. And they were stumped because the answer is pretty simple. Nothing. Just think about any given morning. Your alarm, satellite sync computers in your pocket, hot water and toilets flushing in your bathroom, the coffee you brewed to the exact temperature that you wanted, and the pasteurized milk for safety. Speaking of which, or the bike, car, or bus that gets you to work or school. Each one designed, crashed, and safety tested by generations and generations of scientists. Science is the invisible superpower that runs through your daily life. So the next time someone says, don't trust science or do your own research, just remind them gently that they were trusting in science before they even brushed their teeth that day. So scientists, please tell stories like this, your own stories, and let the audience feel how important the science is. Just watch the cynicism melt away. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm an Oscar-nominated filmmaker, you know, if you care about those things. Humble brag! And I'm using storytelling to help scientists and curious people everywhere try and change minds for the better. If you like that mission, sign up for my free webinar, How to Use Storytelling to Become a Better Science Communicator, link in my bio.